I'm Linnea Quigley, the number one screen queen, and I want you to watch Joe's House of Horror, because if you don't, I'll come looking for you. <laughs> hey guys, it's Joe. I hope everyone's doing great out there. Coming at you tonight with a haul video, and this is my haul from Scaricon in Springfield, Mass. Now, uh, Scaricon was a pretty solid horror con. You guys saw my vlog um, in my last video. Um, but yeah, it was uh, a decent con. More, s It wasn't tiny, but um, just not a lot of horror fans there. It was, um, you know, I was really shocked, um, especially with the screening of Death House that they got. And uh, from what I heard, it was just kind of a lack of um, advertising and whatnot. Uh, it was one of the slowest horror cons I've ever been to. It was kind. It was kind of nice though, like you know, with it being so dead that you know you were able to get a lot of time with the celebrities. Like I met Linnea Quigley. I talked to her for probably a solid half hour, if not longer. It was you know we were just chatting, shooting the shit. It was pretty awesome. And then uh, I talked to the director of Death House for a really long time as well, because it was just like no one really around. Like you know there was just like. Not a lot of people. It was really, really surprising. Um, you know, you guys know I've been going to a lot of horror cons and stuff lately, and uh, this was easily the slowest horror con I've ever been to. Um, so hopefully they do better. Um, you know, they got a they had a really good guest list. I mean, Tony Todd, um, Kane Hodder, Sid Haig, um, among others. I can't remember everybody, but uh, Felissa Rose, uh, John Cassier, the Crypt Keeper. So yeah, like a really solid list, um, you know, and hopefully they can work out their kinks or whatever, and we'll have, see, a, um, you know, more fans show up next time. Um, but alright, let's just get right into the, uh, haul. The first thing I got was kind of just like a funny novelty type thing for me. Um, it is Black Phillip Soap. <laughs> And, uh, it's made, you know, handmade by this woman, uh, Fiona's Fright Shop, right there, a local company out here in Mass, but, you know, I just saw, you know, Black Phillip Soap, obviously, loved the witch and whatnot, um, it really doesn't look like Black Phillip, it's basically just like, you know, just like a novelty, uh, like, goat type thing there, as you can see, there you go, Black Phillip Soap, so, would... Thou likes to smell deliciously, apparently, now. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, I had to get that. I mean, it's just so much fun. I'll probably never use it. I will say it smells pretty nice. Like, has a pretty good smell to it right there. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I don't know what I'm going to do with this thing. I, I don't know if I'll ever use it or if I'll try to hold on to it as long as I can and figure out a cool way to display it or something like that with some witch items or something like that. I don't know. I'll have to figure it out. But... Had to get it, you know, it's Black Phillip. Anything Black Phillip, it's like, I automatically have to, like, get it. And I'm just, like, attached to it. Um, the next item I got was this very awesome creature from the Black Lagoon pin. I mean, look how beautiful that thing is. Really, really cool looking. It apparently glows in the dark, too. We'll have to check that out at some point. But really, really awesome pin right there. Uh, the next pins I got was this awesome, awesome, um, two... Yeah, two pack here of uh, Frankenstein and Bride of Frankenstein. Um, these glow in the dark as well. Haven't checked it out yet, but look how beautiful these pins look right here. Just really, really beautiful on those. They did a great job on these pins. These ones are awesome. These really great quality, great detail on those pins. Um, the next item I got was this really cool um, decal for my car of. Pennywise the Clown from It right there. Super, super cool. Uh, I currently have Michael, Myers, and Freddy on my uh, vinyl vinyl decal stickers. So had to add Pennywise. Hopefully I'll be able to add more and more iconic, you know, horror slashers and horror icons to my car. But uh, they look great. They look really, really cool. Um, I got the Michael one from like this same company at a different con. And it, it looks really awesome on the back of my car. Um, I'll have to show you guys at some point, maybe. Um, the next item I got was, um, this little Crypt Keeper figure right here. He was cheap, um, and, you know, I used to actually have this exact same figure 
when I was younger right there. But, like, he has, like, a little thing in the back there where he moves his um, arms around there and stuff like that. And his head moves a little bit, like, back and forth. Really cool little figure right there. Had to pick him up. Love the Crypt Keeper. They don't make a lot of Crypt Keeper stuff, so I, I had to had to grab that. Um, the next thing I got... I actually, I talked to uh, Felissa Rose um, about, uh, you know, potentially getting her on um, my podcast, Three Guys at Har. She was super nice. Hopefully, we will have her on sooner or later. She seemed down for it. Um, but she wrote, she gave me her email on the back of this um, poster right here. So it's actually a really nice poster, um, you know, of some of her iconic, of her famous roles, and has like a little biography of her right there. Um, but she's a sweetheart, really nice girl, and she gave me her email on the back of this. So hopefully, um, we will get Felissa on the Three Guys at Hard podcast. Stay tuned. Um, as you guys have seen, we've gotten some already some pretty cool guests on there. So we're trying to get more guests on for you guys that we think you would enjoy listening to. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions on people you'd like to see on, obviously within reason, um, let us know and we'll try to get them on for you guys. Um, the next item I got was this, um, the, uh, most of you guys know that, um, Death House, of course, um, I went to the screening, you saw my movie review, um, the director was there, Harrison Smith, and he signed this, uh, Death House poster for me. Uh, if you saw my review, um, I said, you know, like I said, I, I wasn't really, um, on a big fan of the movie, but still a really cool little collector's piece right there, um, signed by the director, and maybe I can get some of the cast to sign it or something too there, because, I mean, it is a pretty, um, it's gonna go down as, like, I think, you know, kind of an iconic movie, just because of the amount of celebrities in there, and even though I didn't like it, maybe some of you guys will, will see. Um, next item I got was this amazing, um, this actually I did not get at the con, but I don't think I ever showed this off, so I wanted to show this off to you guys, this amazing creep show, um, Father's Day figure right there, um, this thing is so awesome, love that it comes with the little head right there, and, uh, they did such an awesome, Amok, I gotta say, Amok Time Toys, um, they know how to do reaction, like, reaction style figures, I mean, way better, miles above, um, Funko with, like, their reaction styles figures, um, for mass produce, of course, um, these, this is awesome, this came out great, they also did the Herbert West from the Reanimator one, um, that came, that one looked amazing as well, um, I hope they do more and more of these, it said that there's more coming soon right there, and they show, um, the crate monster, so maybe we'll see a crate monster, and maybe some more, maybe a little series of creep show figures, that would be badass, I just saw that they're coming out with, like, a, um, not them, but they're gonna be doing a, uh, like, Blade-style reaction figure as well from Puppet Master, so super happy that they're making more of these, re I love reaction-style figures, you know, I do, I had my wall in my old place, I'll do it again once I, you know, get into my new place for sure, um, so love reaction-style figures, keep making more, please, <laughs> Um, all right, the next item I got was this awesome, I love this thing, um, Match, Freddy Matchbox car, this thing is so friggin' cool, I love it, um, I've seen this, like, I've seen other people, and other, seen this in, like, other people's hauls, and I've seen it, like, on, uh, you know, eBay and Instagram and stuff, so when I saw this, I was like, have to have it, I know that they make a Jason one as well right there, um, so I'll have to pick that up, that up as well, but I love it, it says, Springwood Boiler Maintenance on the truck, too. And what else does it say on there? Serving uh, the, the town of Springwood since 1984, when the original movie came out. So that's really cool there. Nice little thing right there, if you guys can see that. And Freddy looks badass on top of the car right there. Uh, box is a little beat up, so I'll probably end up taking out of the box at some point. But really awesome item, really unique. Uh, I'm trying to, like, go more on, like, with my collection currently, like, I'm trying to go more unique items, and more prop replicas, and autographs, and stuff like that, rather than, like, like, all the big, like, mass-produced stuff and whatnot, so I'm trying to go, like, more on the unique side and stuff like that, and more, like, you know, older, rarer figures and toys, um, so that was definitely really cool. Um, the next thing I got was, I'm slowly trying to grab, like, all of the McFarlane Movie Maniac figures, um, unfortunately, a lot of them are just, like, so high in, um, price, but whenever I go out to these cons, I always try to find out 
find like you know the boxes that maybe are a little beat up or ones I can get them decent deals on. Um, so I found this awesome for a great price um, Candyman figure, and I actually don't think I have anything like Candyman related. I mean, I don't think they really made a ton of uh, Candyman stuff. At, piece of, there's a piece of dust flies by, <laughs> um, but I don't think they made a lot of Candyman stuff. Um, you know, in general. So uh, really happy. God. Maybe it wasn't a dust, I think it was a fly. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, uh, like I said, I don't think they've made a ton of Candyman stuff. So this was like a must-have right there. This one's from uh, the third movie, Candyman uh, Farewell to the Flesh. Um, but man, I oh God, I wish McFarlane would go back to making horror figures. I mean, you know, I guess you could say NECA is like the, you know, the closest thing to like what McFarlane did back then, like in horror. But I mean... This probably not doing a great justice in the package in this bubble packaging right now, but man, this is a great figure, great detail on this thing. I will probably take this out of the box more than likely, um, just because the box is a little beat up. Um, but we'll see. He's badass though. He he looks great. They did a great job on the mold and everything. It looks like the coat might open too there, and uh, you can like see his chest or something. So I'm definitely gonna have to look into seeing uh what that is about um all right uh just a couple more items guys and they're um autographs and uh i did actually buy a chucky pin too that i've got show it's on my backpack so i'll go i'll grab that in a minute to show you guys that one um but next i met camille keaton of course from i spit on your grave um she it was a sweetheart um if you guys haven't seen the original i spit on your grave Highly recommend checking it out. Um, you know, pretty similar to like a Last House on the Left um, style movie. Um, could be disturbing to some. Um, you know, it has some very brutal uh, scenes in it and whatnot. But an amazing movie. And uh, she's, you know, one of the original final girls. And, you know, had to get uh, her autograph right there. So she signed it on this really awesome... Um, it's like a Toronto underground film poster for... I guess when they did, they must have did like a screening of the movie. It says, yeah, 2010, they did like a screening for this movie. So, cool little poster right there. And she signed it uh, to Joe. Revenge is sweet, Camille Keaton. So, very, very cool uh, right there. Definitely going to have to frame this up. And, uh, yeah, I, if you want to see like pictures, you know, when I go to these cons and stuff, you know, I, I always put up, um, you know, pictures with me and the celebrities like on my Instagram and in my Facebook group. So, if you're in either of those at Joe's House of Horror on Instagram or my Facebook group, Joe's House of Horror. Um, you know, you'll see all the pictures on there and whatnot. Um, next is I met, um, you know, I've been wanting to, I've been, you know, dying to meet this woman forever, Linnea Quigley. Um, she signed, uh, of course, from Night of the Demons and uh, The Return of the Living Dead, probably her two most, you know, famous movies. Um, but she had this on her table and I was like, what is this? Um, it's just so cool, so unique. I've never seen anything like it. It is Linnea Quigley's Horror Workout DVD. Um, that is hilarious. I mean, obviously it was back, like, during, like, the 80s, uh, like, horror, when, you know, basically she was an icon, like, a, and a sex symbol. Um, so I cannot wait to watch this. It looks like they have, like, zombies doing exercises and just like a bunch of fun stuff on here um what's really cool about this dvd is is that it's uh limited to just a thousand copies um they converted it from it used to be on vhs they converted it from vhs to dvd um as you can see here on the inside jacket there's a little thing here signed by Linnea and the director there and it's numbered what do i got 228 out of a Yep, 228 out of a thousand. So this is, you know, like a limited edition DVD. Really, really awesome. And there is your DVD right there as well. And uh, yeah, so it's a really, really awesome. This is a really, really cool collector's piece right here. And she signed it uh, to Joe Chainsaw Kisses, Linnea Quigley. So this was like such an awesome item. I'm so happy to grab that. And Linnea Quigley was an absolute sweetheart, super nice woman. Um, but yeah, so that is it, guys. That is it for my haul. Um, let me go grab that Chucky pin real quick, show you that, because that's definitely worth um, a mention. Yeah, so here is um, here is the Chucky pin, guys. Just wanted to, I you know didn't want to take it off the backpack, but you'll see it pretty good anyway, right here. 
There is your Chucky pin. Uh, let me get it up right there. From part three, of course. Um, this is from um the company Rat Knife. These guys, those guys make awesome, awesome pins. Highly recommend checking out Rat Knife, guys. If you haven't checked out Rat Knife yet, um, they do awesome, awesome pins. Follow them on Instagram. Super nice guys, too. Really uh, awesome, down to earth guys. Uh, but yeah, so that is it, guys. That is my haul. Let me know what uh, your favorite item was in the comments down below. Uh, don't forget, guys, to check me out on social media. I'm on Instagram, at Joe's House of Horror. On Facebook, uh, my Facebook group, Joe's House of Horror. Um, I'm on Snapchat. I'm on uh, my podcast, Three Guys at Horror. We're on SoundCloud. We're on iTunes. We're pretty much anywhere you can find us. It's all linked down below, guys. Um, so go check it out. Um, and that is it. So everyone have a great night. And we'll see you all real soon.